former Attorney General of the British Virgin Islands, the BVI, has added his take to this ongoing saga. Dr. Christopher Malcolm is of the view many of the questions swirling around the, DP, the DPP matter is a result of the court failing to be clear in its ruling. Here again is Natalia Clark. With many questions and concerns still lingering following Friday's historic ruling by the Constitutional Court regarding the tenure of former DPP Paula Lolin, one attorney is raising pointed criticisms at the full court for failing to effectively articulate their position. There is no clear order that then said, based on our finding, we now therefore declare that the Office of the Director of Public Prosecutions is vacant and that Ms. Paula Llewellyn was never the Director of Public Prosecutions under this amendment, yes? And she is not now properly the Director of Public Prosecution. This, he posits, would have greatly reduced the public discourse and the back and forth between the Attorney General and the Justice Minister with the opposition People's National Party who were the claimants in the matter. The judgment has lacked the clarity which prevents that level of debate from happening. Now, a judgment, if you think about it, when a matter comes before a court or any tribunal at all, the objective should always be to ensure that the judgment, when rendered, clarifies the issues, not just for the parties, but in fact for the public as well, so persons can be clear as to what was decided and what the relevant next steps are supposed to be. Dr. Christopher Malcolm, a former Attorney General in the British Virgin Islands and now a senior lecturer at the UN Mona Faculty of Law, says the lack of a clear conclusion in the ruling prompts one to question the basis for appointing the acting DPP and if that's a clear acknowledgement that there's now a vacancy. But let's just see. They got papers coming to them saying, we wish for you to make an appointment of an acting director of public prosecutions because the incumbent is unable to perform her function. Right? Let's just say that. And there is a clarification to say there was never an incumbent. Then it means the, services, the decision of the Services Commission would have been premised or would have relied on a premise that never existed. Further to this, Dr. Malcolm says there is also a possibility of a former DPP suing the state for tarnishing her name and brand. If it is that she was engaged on the contract by the government, by a process which included through the Public Services Commission and so on, she has a right to presume that all the relevant steps were taken and that the relevant authorities had satisfied themselves that her appointment was legitimate. And if she's now been bo booted from that office, in those circumstances, does she have justiciable rights that need to be considered? And if so, what does that mean? Natalia Clark, CVM News.